Now, before we get into the workout, I want to let you know a couple of things here that make these kind of workouts different from the workouts that I do at home. The biggest thing is I don't have access to all the equipment I have at home. So really, this workout is going to be pretty much calisthenics only. But what I'm not doing within these workouts is trying to get the most failure out of my muscles because it's just quite challenging when you're only limited to calisthenics. Now with that in mind, we're only out of town here for like less than a week. So really I'm also doing these types of workouts just to at least get the blood circulating into those muscles, get a nice pump in. And then when I do get back home, I'll probably ease a little bit into it, maybe 80% for each muscle group, just because I hate being demonically sore. You know what I mean? And it's also kind of a fun way to see how creative I can get with very, very limited, I mean, if you could call any of this in here equipment, I'm gonna try and use it in some way to get a little strength training session. So for this full body calisthenic workout, I'm basically going to be moving nonstop for about 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm actually gonna do the functional strength training workout on the Apple Watch. Let's go and get that started here. The reason why I move this over here is just so I can have a little bit of a balance here, because I'm gonna first start by hitting my legs pretty hard for the first 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll mix in some upper body and we'll kind of go back and forth from there. So I'm doing a bunch of reps here on my right leg, and I'm gonna switch to my left leg, and then, um, keep going. When you're traveling a bunch, sometimes the last thing you want to do is work out. But do you know how good you feel after a workout when you're traveling, despite everyone just freaking living in vacation mode? It's kind of nice. It's not to say the whole time you're traveling or on vacation, you can't be in vacation mode, but you're probably eating a little bit extra. Maybe you're having a couple of drinks, so might as well get a nice little burn. So I don't know, that was 20 reps or so. I don't really even count reps. I'm just going until things are on fire. Now keep in mind, I'm really trying not to use my hand for anything else here other than keeping balance. And as you can tell, I already get my heart rate up. Oh, and it already feels so good. Okay, hit both legs and then we'll do body weight squats. The biggest difference between this workout and my workouts at home is I'm taking breaks, letting my heart rate come down in between. Here, it's just a constant freaking grind. Oh buddy, now I'll go back to the lunges. The other thing here too is I don't have an exact set plan when I'm doing this. I just know I'm gonna do a shit ton of reps that make my legs just that turn my leg, oh, I can't talk. I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of reps until my heart rate is quite high and the muscles are really feeling like they're burning. And uh, I think I'm already achieving that. Uh, switch to the right foot. Yeah, I've gotta say, Oregon, this place is amazing. The Cannon Beach area, Oregon coast area is just, so freaking epic. It's also an amazing place to take photos, take videos, because the weather is always doing something dynamic. It's always doing something freaking cool. And then with the constant, somewhat transparent cloud coverage, when you go outside, you're pretty much always in some kind of soft box, which is basically just a type of cinematic lighting. It's diffused lighting. So it, the sunlight never feels like this direct harshness. So you can pretty much go and create at any time of the day. So it's already been seven minutes of just doing this. So I pretty much did two rounds of that where I did each leg individually and then squats. Now let's do some walking lunges right here along this track. My heart rate's in the 140s right now. And what I like about this kind of a workout, especially when you're traveling, doing so much other stuff, it doesn't require a ton of mental bandwidth for you to just start. Just throw on some workout clothes in the morning or when you get back from the day, take 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, and just start doing stuff. Okay, now we're gonna take a little bit bigger steps with these lunges. That's gonna activate a little bit more of the glutes and the hams. Oh, oh and that's the good stuff right there, fam. <sighs> We're gonna do one more round of that. And then go back to squats. Already working up a sweat here. I got my electrolytes, some creatine. 
Anytime I travel, I bring Element Creatine Fiber Supplement, and I've been taking Glutamine, which is just really good for digestive health along with the fiber. And on that note, I'd love to take a quick moment and tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Element. Now, if you've never heard of Element, they're a very tasty electrolyte drink mix, and each packet is only 10 calories. Now, what's amazing about Element is it won't break your fast. There's no artificial colors or fillers in it. There's no junk in it. And the best part is it's a science-backed ratio of electrolytes. And that's 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, as well as 60 milligrams of magnesium. Now, whether you're at home in your normal routine or you are in fact traveling and trying to stay active, I could not recommend supplementing your electrolytes with Element more because this single thing could be the difference between you feeling quite fatigued and brain fogged or feeling very energized, focused, and in an overall good mood. Now, I've been using Element daily for over a year now, and I have felt just these things things, more energy, more focus, better performance in the gym, better cardio. So I've done you a massive favor and linked Element right below in the description. So go ahead and check them out. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash C. This deal is only available through my link. So you must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Brian Adam C. I can really feel my legs starting to fight. <sighs> now I'm going to hit some upper body. I've got this uh, nice little bench here and it's pretty solid wood. So I'm going to take this pad off, just put it right there. And I'm just going to do a variation of push ups. And the whole point of this is to keep it moving. And obviously, if you do need to take little breaks, catch a breath, stop for a minute or two. But with functional strength training with the Apple Watch, that's really kind of the point. It views it as basically a workout like this. And once these get hard, I'll drop to my knees, do some sissy push-ups. Oh. Oh. And then normal push-ups again. Oh, oh my gosh. Jump straight up to this bench here. Do some decline. Oh, and this is hitting my shoulders, my chest, triceps, a little bit of lats. Now I'm gonna elevate my feet on the bench and we'll do these incline. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. That's pretty freaking brutal. Put the bench back here. Back to decline. Oh, catch my breath a little bit here. And as you can tell, I'm just really pushing it. I'm just getting my heart rate going and feeling the burn, quite literally right here. Oh. What are we, 17 minutes in? Back to the decline here. Now, even within this bench, if I go wide, it's really gonna target a lot more that broader area of my chest, lower chest. And then if I bring them in, I'm gonna get a little bit more tricep activation, more inner chest, more shoulders, more lats. Within this range of motion, you can get a ton of muscle coverage. And there's my wife. Hey, bug. Oh. Oh. So I've hit legs, hit chest. I'm gonna do a little bit of back. I'm gonna repeat this cycle. So let me show you what I do for back. It's um, it's pretty funky. And there's like a little sink area right here. And I actually did this earlier this week and it actually got my lats a little bit sore. Mostly because I've just never done this exercise before. Literally because I impromptu made it up, but it's effective. Again, I've got my sink right here. I'm gonna put my legs up like this. And what I'm doing here is I'm imagining my elbow closing in towards my lat like this. And then also just use one arm. Switch to the left hand here. And then switch to both hands. And one thing I will say, if you're gonna try these workouts in your hotel room, please do so at your own discretion. Try not to break the hotel room in the process. Ideally, if your hotel has a gym, go hit that up. Either way, this is at least pretty solid calisthenics workout. Stretch here, squeeze in. 
And this probably looks really weird from your angle, but it's effective and that's all that matters. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the same bench here, flip it up like this. I'm gonna do some bent rows. Oh my goodness, not gonna lie. 25 minutes in, I'm already feeling pretty freaking gassed. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking dying. Dude, how random is this though? You heard a bench press? Oh my gosh. You can take this bench like this, just do a lateral raise. Oh, how about do some push ups? Oh my gosh. Back to the sink here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I've got an idea. Check this out. I could put my hands here, lean forward, and do some dips. So, why not? Oh my goodness, it's pretty brutal. Do another round of those. Oh, so I'm 34 minutes into this thing. So I'm gonna do another round of that, hitting lower body as well as upper body, probably throw some abs in as well. And then it's time to shower up and get to dinner. solid 45 minute workout and I'm, I'm pretty cash. In terms of cardio, I'm doing a bunch of walking throughout the day when I'm out filming, taking photos. I'm pretty much on the go on my feet all freaking day. So that's a huge part of my cardio. But then also my wife and I will go on walks in the morning or if I do have access to a gym, I will at least get on the elliptical, get some kind of cardio session in. It's the same stuff I do at home, walking elliptical. You get it. After staying in Cannon Beach for a few days, we spent one night in Portland, Oregon, and I was able to use our hotel gym to get a solid upper body workout in. As you can see, this is a pretty standard hotel gym. I mean, it's actually a little bit nicer than some that I've seen. Some are like a very tiny little squished space, but most hotel gyms have dumbbells up to like 50 pounds max. I think past that there's like a legal safety issue, but this one at least has like a pulley station where you can do like tricep press downs and also like cable rows, a bunch of different things. And then it actually also has like a leg press machine and then like a chest press machine. And then obviously plenty of cardio equipment. So when I'm in a hotel gym like this, I'm still not necessarily gonna train exactly how I do when I'm at home. We only have one night here, so I just trained upper body tonight. And if I have time tomorrow morning, I might train legs, but I'm basically just making use of whatever equipment I have. And if I do have extended access to a pretty nice gym when I'm traveling, I will actually hit specific muscle groups, especially legs. It's just gonna be a little bit dependent on where I'm traveling, what the schedule looks like and all that. But I would say the bigger thing with working out when I'm traveling is just making sure that I get in here and get some kind of work done. And I mean, if I can create some kind of stimulus for growth, that's amazing. If I'm a little bit sore the next day, that's fantastic. Um, but that's not necessarily like the ultimate goal. No matter what, when I'm traveling, consistency is a massive, massive thing for me. And so if you take anything away from this, when you're traveling, try and do something and maintain that freaking consistency. Well, friends, definitely don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I think it's time to go eat some dinner and there's a winter storm coming tomorrow. So hopefully we can fly out of here. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.